Okay then guys, so today we've got an interesting one and one I didn't think that I was going to be looking too much into, but just recently we've learned that these scarab helmets, although they look completely ridiculous, actually have some really cool hidden techniques in them, and each one of them has something different. There is five, but we're going to be covering three of them today. These are the three main ones that you guys want to be focusing on, especially if you are of a mage character. If you want me to cover the other two, then feel free to let me know via the comment section. They are a little bit less useful, but all the same, we may cover them if you want to see them. But starting off, we've got the Incantation Scarab, and this slightly reduces the FP cost of incantations, but does increase the damage that you take. Now, this helps really, really well, because for those of you guys who like using incantations, it obviously reduces that FP. The Glinstone Scarab does the exact same thing for sorceries, and again, for you mages out there, this is huge, and this is one I've been using a lot recently. And then we've got the Cerulean Tear Scarab, which slightly increases the recovery effects of the Flask of Cerulean Tears, but increases the damage taken. Again, a very helpful tool. Now, when we look at where we can get hold of these, the first one is going to be in the Debate Parlor. We're going to make our way over to there. This is in the Academy on the left-hand side of the map, and we're going to be making our way outside. Once we get outside, you're going to see the big stairwell on the right-hand side. Now, you've got to be careful because there's a giant boulder, so once you make your way over the arch here and up and around, you've got to avoid the giant boulder that makes its way down towards you. Make your way through that, and then you're going to want to run through the main doorway. And once you get through there, once you manage to get through the next doorway, there'll be a arch through on the left-hand side. Jump through that window, and on the left again, jump through that window and up the ladder. Once you get up there, there's going to be a few ads at the top. Take those out, and once you've done that, there is going to be a very nice chest waiting in the bottom corner, which is going to provide you with the first Scarab Helmet. Like I said, this is a very, very easy one. As long as you've got the Academy unlocked, this is going to be a very easy find indeed, and actually is quite nice hidden considering as how obvious this place actually is and there we go glinstone scarab obtained this is my favorite one and that's the one i recommend grabbing first next up we are going to be heading over to the storm hill shack at the main area that we start off with in limgrave and heading over to the artist's shack now this is a two-part phase we've got head over to the artist shack from here and we are going to essentially go over find the art and then we're going to go from there so we're going to get to this main location just in case you guys don't know where it is and once we've got that piece of art we're going to see you just then Okay, so once you are here, you'll notice in the shack is a nice piece of art. You want to admire it. And then we're going to be heading over to the starting section of the game, where you first started out right here is where we're going to want to be heading. But we're going to be starting on the grey site just slightly northwest of that, which is going to be the first step. We're going to head on over to the first step and we're going to make our way just southeast. As you can see through here, we're going to make our way round and down. Now be careful because this cliff top, as much as it doesn't seem too high, it is high enough to take you out. Hence why I had to go and recollect my runes. Uh, yeah, I'll deny it if you tell anyone. But we're going to go from here and on the bottom of this bit down here, you are going to notice that there is going to be a ghost sat on a chair. If you watch this ghost sat on the chair for long enough, you will notice that it will then disappear. And when it does disappear, it is going to drop a very nice little purple glow. Pick that up, and we have got the incantation scarab next. On to the third and final one. Ugh, these things are so bloody cool. They look quirky as well. 
Anywho, this one's over in Caled, and we're going to be heading over to the town of Sorcery. Now, this place is quite difficult. If you guys have never been here before and you are slightly underleveled, then please be careful. There's a lot of sorcerers around here. But once you make your way into this area, you are going to want to head all the way through it, right down to the bottom where you get to the stairwell. Main reason being is we're going to want to get onto the rooftops. This is a very easy find if you have been to this location. You just want to head all the way down here, and there'll be a set of stairs on your right-hand side. From there, you want to jump onto the tree trunk that ventures off from that stairwell. We're going to go onto the first roof directly in front of us and on the right we're going to jump onto the second one. Jump to the third one on the left and then into the middle archway just there to jump up to the next bit. Let's jump slightly up on the lip and you should be able to scale the top corner of this and there will be a corpse sat in the corner there. That is going to be where the final Cerulean tier scarab is. These are very nice finds and very easy ones indeed. Like, subscribe and I'll see you in the clouds.